Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the RV Concierge channel. This morning, I'm at the Tampa RV Show, and I'm gonna do a review of a 2021 and a half Forest River Berkshire XL40E. Let's go take a look. The Forest River Berkshire XL is on the Freightliner raised rail chassis with the 380 horsepower 8.9 liter Cummins. And they pair that up to the 3000 Allison Transmission Motorhome Series. And it makes this guy capable of towing 15,000 pounds for the 21 and a half model year. And the reason they can do that is because they've added rear disc brakes. This coach now has keyless entry. You do have a door awning and a patio awning, and that is mounted to the slide out, so you're not gonna lose any of that. Uh, there are slide toppers on each of the slides as well. So let's take a look at these compartments, and then we'll work to the inside. Now there's a lot of changes for the 21 and a half model, and we'll go through those as we go by through. Uh, so in this compartment, you have extra tiles, some shelving, and a GFI outlet. The next several are gonna be full pass-through. This one has the drawer, and as you can see in there, there is the mat that goes in the driver area as well as a uh, compressor hose. Next compartment, you have your stone guard and you do have central vac now in this unit and that's the uh, connections for the central vac. Outside entertainment with a sound bar and you can Bluetooth connect to that sound bar. More pass through here. This is where you're gonna drain your fresh tanks. You do have alloy wheels on this unit. I am gonna do the tire size. So these are Michelin's and they are 275-80R22.5. There's your chassis batteries and there is a disconnect in there for those chassis batteries. And then the next two compartments are just small storage compartments. And as I said, now that they've added the rear disc brakes, we have a 15,000 pound hitch and you can put 1500 on the tongue they do give you a seven pin connector. Brand new front and rear caps for the 21 and a half model year. You got your backup camera up there. They give you these really nice stacked tail lights and the headlights as well in the front and they're all gonna be chrome bezeled. Moving around to the off door side, you have your air intake. This is a full body paint coach with four coats of clear, sickens paint. You have a full fiberglass roof. They've relocated the hydraulics to this compartment along with your auto transfer switch, your Magnum inverter, and your Jaboni controller. There's your short power cord and they do have a new knockout this year for the short power cord to go through. <clears throat> They've added two more batteries for the 21 and a half model year. So you do have six batteries now and there is a disconnect in there as well. I really like how they've cleaned up their electrical. There's your def tank and your sewer tube storage compartment. One of the things I really like about this coach is it has a water manifold system, hot and cold side with shutoffs to every feed into the coach. You have a full house filtration, low point drains for your plumbing and your termination valve right there. You do have an outdoor shower as well with hot and cold water and this area is thermostatically controlled. There is tank heaters and it is heated by the aqua hot system. Water pump is right there. Very easy to get at for winterization. <clears throat> Next three are going to be your full pass through. They put your dirt devil central back in here. More pass through. And your last full pass through with the slide out tray. That's the exhaust for the Aqua Hot. They put the 250 Aqua Hot uh, system in this. Very easy to get at. And the last compartment has some chassis electrical. It's probably locked, yep. And a release for the generator slide out on the front. Has dual fuel fill, new bus style mirrors with integrated turn signal cameras. 
and again this brand new front cap for the 21 and a half model year let's go take a look at the inside all right as you enter the coach you're going to notice you have deeper steps and a wider entry door the cargo carrying capacity on this coach is 7249 pounds wow Folks, I just wanted to make sure that I got all of the new features for the 21 and a half model year. So they did upgrade the new windshield wipers to these butterfly style windshield wipers. Um, I'm gonna get a nice video of the new Robust Cherry, uh, which is their new wood color. This is the all new Robust Cherry. So taking the red out of it, a more warm brown. Um, we did get the front workstation, that's new. Um, the new entry steps are going to have carpet mats on them. Um, you got new villa front cockpit seats, and they are plush with the Berkshire uh, emblem right on the headrest there. Okay, tire pressure monitoring built into the dash, which is great. The all-new AquaHot 250D. It is an all-electric coach with in-floor heat. Uh, two more batteries for a total of six batteries now. Um, you do have a new 3000 kW pure sine wave inverter in lieu of the older 2000 watt. Um, that new cord cutout, it's got a 10K generator with three air conditioners. That's standard on the 40 foot model now. All new 15,000 BTU AC heat pumps in the front and the rear, and then a 13.5 in the middle. New heated floor option, as I said, in the living room and kitchen area. They've added a fireplace to this floor plan and the 40D. Um, there are five exterior paint schemes, a new kicker dash radio. So you have these nice speakers in the dash area on either side. As I said, brand new front and rear fiberglass caps with stacked lights and chrome bezels. This is a bus style door. Some controls right there. This is new for 21 and a half. You have a really nice, it's kind of similar to the Lagoon tables. And this tabletop can t come off and it stores right in that slot down there. You do have a GFI outlet here and behind the driver's seat. And they both work off of the inverter. You get the all new digital dash for 2021. And there is a wireless charging station right there. Next to that, you have your equalizer hydraulic leveling. And Tim Cunningham is about to walk into the coach. Tim is the national sales manager for Forest River Berkshire. Good morning. Good morning, Tim. So um, so Tim's going to walk through. I have a list of all of the new stuff, but since Tim's here, he can tell us what's new for the 21 and a half uh, Berkshire XL. Had a lot of changes. Yeah, there was a pretty good amount. Um, obviously, we were just kind of capitalizing on this Freightliner digital dash um, that we did in uh, 2020.5, but... Uh, for 21.5, we added TPMS, what will be the tire pressure monitoring Built system. right into the yeah, menu right system? Yeah, right in there okay. as well too. So it's part of Freightliner. You know, it's really good. Intuitively, how it pops up there on the screen to really, you know, take advantage of it. Um, new for 21.5, we actually uh, went to billet cockpit seats. So you're yes. going to get a little bit So very nicer, plush. plush. Very nice. Yeah, very comfortable. You can get the Forms Berkshire well. in there. Yeah, uh, we have the passenger workstation tray. So that's that. nice because it can uh, it can pop off here at the base. Uh, it's very sturdy, and then you can actually remove it here at the arm there too, so it's completely out of the way. Okay. Um, it's storable and whatnot, but it gives you a little bit of you know passenger area. It's always so, nice. So I already did a loop of the outside and was kind of telling them some of the changes for 2021 and a half. Yeah. Um, one of the big things being an all electric coach. Yeah, that's really big for us. Awesome. Year. Yeah. Um, so obviously as we progress to where we, um, you know, have been coming from, obviously, uh, the next step was to, you know, making an all electric coach. Uh, so we put the 250D Aqua Hot in uh, this year. Uh, we added six or two house batteries, so now we have six six volt house yep. batteries. Showed that in, yeah, a, in the video. Inverter. So now our, our power system, our, our electrical system is really good. Um, you know, it also ties into what we have with our solar system um, and our solar, solar setup in terms of having the MPPT controller. That's really big um, to be able to maximize, you know, your solar capabilities. So up to 550 watts now, um, pre-wired too, so you don't have to do any more labor you know, once you get the unit um, at that point. So um, having that all electric coach, then we went ahead and added uh, heated floors into the living room area. 
So the tile floors are now heated. That's new. That was a Berkshire XLT thing. Correct. Yeah. Along with the Aqua Hot, but that has a larger Aqua Hot. It's a bigger coach. Yeah, so you need it for that extra four feet or so. But um, yeah, so now you have the porcelain floors with the, the heat. Um, also new them for 21.5. We did a, a pretty good overhaul in terms of our decor package. So you're going to have new furniture colors. Um, the 40E that we're standing in now has our executive dark cherry. So when you get our darkest wood, executive dark, it's kind of an all in one package. What you see is what you get. Mm -hmm. So with the furniture, the inserts, the wallboard, uh, new balances, pillows. Um, so I, I think we, we kind of lightened it up a little bit too with the complimentary wallboard. So it looks great. It, it pops it a lot better. Really looks great. I'm going to pop over to one of the other ones and get that new robust yeah, cherry as well. Yeah, and then we well. have the new robust cherry yeah. here as well. So we took a little bit of the red away from the cherry kind of uh freshen it up a little bit you could say all right let's kind of spin through this thing and go go over some of the stuff that it has now the the yes. drop down bunk is now standard yes it is standard awesome um you know because again being six feet tall obviously i could stand under here really good yep. um it's not in the way you know obviously sleeping is is key and not having to break things down mm -hmm. so making that standard uh it makes it a lot easier you're going to be able to obviously have the peace of mind to get uh we still have our nice oversized booth here as well I do like that. That lifts up in the front now, right? That's, yeah. That's a so new booth? Both of these are, um, it's in, a little bit newer of a style, yes. We kind of tweaked it, brushing okay. it up as well. Saw several for us wherever people are moving over to that booth. I really like yeah. that. Lots of storage underneath. You get the storage underneath, maximize on both sides. Yep. Uh, it's kind of cool now, too. You actually have uh, soft, soft clothes. Um, that's that's very nice. There, or doors, so yep. they aren't you know, not going to slam. Um, obviously, we have nice big residential refrigerator. We have new latches for locks on there as well love that so i've seen those lax latches on other manufacturers and uh beats that little screw in oh, thing oh it's so much easier. it takes forever to get yeah, in and out yeah i mean it's simple there and you have been one obviously here for the the bottom freezer dishwasher new dishwasher. for 20 now that's an xlt thing brought down that's yes. that's great so that'll be uh that'll be an option um so nice lip to... countertop edges yeah you know i think that's what we kind of try and all residential grade stuff in here. Yeah, exactly. We're trying to really get it so you're coming out from your home into your home on wheels. That's that very point. nice. So yep. we try and make it, you know, aesthetically appeasing and, and comfortable. You know, good storage, mm -hmm. low storage. You know, a lot of people have been, you know, commenting that they're not as tall and, you know, trying to get in there is harder. So mm -hmm. you know, I think it's at a good height, good depth and whatnot as well. Awesome. So you're going to see too, you're going to have a pop-up receptacle behind. Yeah, I like that. Matt calls them the Tower of Power. I like that. <laughs> and then there's also, there's also another one over one here. Over here as well. Now, this is higher for 2021, correct? Yeah, so or we tried to half. really get you in there so you can get your coffee pot in there as well or mm -hmm. you know, any of your other taller accessories, but now you have plenty of room. Uh, storage so behind there. Storage back here. Yep, got a safe in there. The you safe got is standard. a shelf, yeah. which is nice. So nice very nice. Piece. You have a very large residential. Oh, I did style. like this. I've totally forgot about this. Uh, Huge sink. sink. That thing is very deep. And and you get a lasagna pan yeah. and a baby in there. <laughs> you and there's accessories that you can buy afterwards. So you can see the shelving. And yeah, I see that. You can buy Different levels like it. or strainers and things like that. So it's again flexible. Awesome. Um, I love that. You got your fireplace. That is great. That's a smaller fireplace, but fits in there perfectly. Yeah. I mean, you, know, you, you guys really back. didn't leave anything out of this. No, we tried to pack it in as best as we could be because we're trying to take our 45A XLT and it can kind of shrink it into a 45 yeah. or 9 tag. and. So now you're still going to get that two full bathroom accessibility for your multi-plex. I didn't tell them that yet, but this is a bunks with two full bathrooms. So I didn't want to forget to tell about the Precision Plex, uh, Precision Circuits multiplex system. And that is a touchscreen multiplex system that you can attach your smartphone to. And you just go to wireless. There are two different uh applications one is called precision circuits the other one's precision plex depending upon whether you have an android or an apple but that will control the whole coach and you can do yes. that from your phone as well yeah as you'll see yeah. when we get back there uh this is actually gonna delay flat yep so, i had it down yesterday that's a jackknife yeah. uh that can fit uh at least one adult or a couple kids yeah, i saw so, pretty know, good size tried to because i'm being almost six feet you know i could lay almost on there at one point when we mm -hmm. had to fix arm rest yep so those so removed. i kind of brought yep. something from the pontoon world sure where you still get those but now you have a six foot uh, sleeping space there i love nice that pantry pantry yep that's very nice adjustable shelves yeah very nice and it does have the central back i showed you guys on the yeah. outside i love the doors that you guys put on these bunks so these bunks um you can actually leave it kind of open but if you don't want it open you can close yeah. them off 
but I would say it's an oversized wardrobe. I really like People this. Yeah, it's some of the floor plans and layouts and, and visibilities and whatnot, but they don't think they need bunks. Well, you flip up the top bunk, you have a wardrobe rack. People build desks in here. I mean, it is very usable really space. Available space yep. for an RV, which you don't typically find. Very cool. This is the ladder for the trap trap down bed. Yep. And, and pocket door. Have a pocket door here. That's so great. Again, maximizing your hallway. Mm -hmm. uh, it's all solid hardwood. And again, folks, two full bathrooms. Really nice uh, vanity and sink with a lot of counter space, porcelain toilet, pedal flush, and a shower in the mid bath. And it's a large shower too, which it is, is nice. That's pretty good some size. Some of the other ones that have a, a mid full shower is it's a little bit smaller. And, mm -hmm. um, so you're you're really going to be able to have a lot more uh, flexibility there as well. Yep, king bed. King bed. I see you brought the fan down from the XLT as well. Yes. Very nice. Standard. Okay. Yeah. Storage behind your TV as well. Excellent. That's so very nice. Abundant storage. Yep. Uh, now I love this. I saw this the other day when I was here. Yeah, so and you just very stores. impressed. These things actually slide out so that you can hang your stuff and pull it out and see everything. And it's side to side instead of side to side like this, exactly. where, where it's going to get bunched up when you're yeah. hitting the brakes and so hitting the accelerator. Got a bit of his and hers. Yep. Hers and his. <laughs> hers and hers, we always yeah, say. Exactly. I get under the bed. <laughs> so yeah. you got some storage up there. And uh, you got some nice reading lights up there. Also yeah, multiplex. Start, you know, a lot of the stuff that goes there, your fan control there. Yep. You fan have the power outlets at the base of the bed. Yep. You're also going to have USB port. Yep. And then you get into the rear where, again, you're going to have another nice shower. Huge, huge shower. And again, a nice vanity there. And a, what is that, a towel closet there? Or a yes. Yeah, linen you're closet. linen closet back here. Very well. nice. Oh, that's huge, too. Very good. And that's really cool because, you know, with the way that we have the water saver system, as you can see in the shower, that yep, the aquamizer. So let's go yeah. look at that. So I have so, the two showers now. Um, you have, does the front shower have the aquamizer as yes. well? All right. Uh -huh. So that folks is going to recycle the fresh water back into the tank until it's hot. And then you can change it over to the faucet. So you're not losing any of your no. water while you're uh, dry camping. It turns out really well with our water manifold system. You know, having the two showers now and having a, a direct point to point connection, you're going to be able to, uh, at that point, um, really have good, better water pressure sure. for how it is. So, so you got a stacked washer dryer there. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Rear Whirlpool. macerator toilet. Yep. This is the push button macerating toilet, and that's porcelain with the resin lid. Very nice. Yeah, because we only have one black tank, so there's yep. no Yeah, no, no two dumping stations in no. this. You got a single dump station. <laughs> Excellent. Up a lot this week. So I'm gonna quick grab the sheet and make sure I got all of the changes for the 2021 model year because I think it's important. You guys have made a ton of changes to this. It's awesome. Um, very impressed. It's just like a baby XLT now. Yeah, it really is. Um, it really I did is mention, well. I mentioned the 15,000 pound yeah, towing. Yeah, 15,000 pounds of towing, rear disc brakes. Yep. I mean, awesome. you won't find a 40 footer with that, you know, 380. You know, again, we're still working on the principle of uh, our philosophy in a way is you know, everything you want and need and then some and, yep. and a bang for the buck at that point. So I think we uh, are able to check off a lot of boxes now. Well, you guys did an excellent job. I'm excited for ours yeah, to arrive you. next yeah. month in February. Hopefully Sounds we'll fun. have that. And uh, folks, the one that we have coming is still going to be for sale. So mm -hmm. hit me. Yeah. I want to thank you for taking time. Yeah, no, I, I know you guys are busy much. here at the show and I uh, really appreciate you taking no, the time. Thank to... you very much. Sir. All right. Yeah. Awesome. So folks, this is the all new 21 and a half. Forest River Berkshire XL 40E floor plan, which is two full bathrooms with the bunk beds. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And if you have any questions, uh, you can text, call, or email me. Information is going to be right there. And again, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Stay tuned for more.